just just uh, they're out here. They see the opportunity. The coach and gonna believe Don't, in. They're playing with hey, house we, money almost, right? It's money. like they feel yeah. like they're house money. Like they already walked into the like, casino. They got that five hundred back in their pocket. They walked in with, and they yeah. still got a stack on the table. NFC Championship. The Niners <laughs> are favorite minus seven. Total is fifty one. Uh, the line is minus, uh, minus three twenty five. The, the, um, the battle of the bum quarterbacks that are left, I guess, in this division with golf and, you know, you know, so many questions about Brock Purdy. Some things he's elite, some things he's not, um, good for him. This is going to be a warm weather game, right? we we kind of saw that kind of peeking through anything, um, with the elements, he does have trouble. So the line dropped at minus six and a half. It's now up to seven. I don't have a good feel for this game just yet, um, just because we don't know where Debo is. As of right now, I think this 49ers team is different with Debo not in this lineup. But my bet here, if I could take a bet, and we'll, we'll go to whoever has the best bet uh, on this one, my bet here would be on the over. I think there's going to be a lot of points scored. Um, Detroit's um, back in is horrific. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, give me Brock Purdy. I'll 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 go with Mr. Irrelevant over his passing prop of 723. I'm I'm 273 and a half. And I'm gonna um also jump on plus three hundred here. I think he throws all over the Detroit Lions. Um I don't think they run on him. I think this was a diddy take from before of how good that front is from the D- Detroit Lions in terms of stopping the run. I know CMC might be matchup proof. But I think there's going to be just so much openings from a passing standpoint. I went back and looked four games. I think the last three or four games, QBs average over 315 yards passing against the Detroit Lions. So I like the over. I like the alternate passing. I might even put it in a same game parlay, um, do 48 and maybe 250 and see if I can get a little bit more, more money that two to one. But give me the over. Give me Brock Purdy over his passing prop um, in his game, but I don't have a side. I'll go with you, Sharp, since I started with Diddy before. Uh, what do you got on this game? I think the line's a little inflated. I personally, my handicap is five. Um, I think you made a good point about Brock Purdy. I think we've seen enough now that, um, man, Brock Purdy's kind of a Jimmy G, right? Like, that's who Kyle Shanahan likes. He's a Matt Ryan. He's a Jimmy G, right? He's a, he, so, and this term's been thrown around. Kyle Shanahan likes to play Madden in real life. He literally <laughs> wants to call the play and have the QB run the play. Don't call any audibles. Call the play as it was designed and go through the progressions exactly it was designed. That's what he wants. And he wants to like set up play after play after play. And like he basically plays the offense. That's how he is. That's why he doesn't like QBs who ad lib. People think like, oh, Mahomes, Lamar, Fields. These guys would be terrible in his system because he would freak out that they're like, no, I see somebody else. I'm going to skip my second read and just go right to my third because I like that matchup. He would freak out. Purdy does exactly what he's told. And we've seen that how important Debo Samuel's scheme is to Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan is the one thing his the problem with his scheme is his passing game is not independent of his running game. Unlike uh, Andy Reid or a Sean McVay, they have developed a passing game that can operate independently of its running game. Meaning if a defense sells out and takes away the run, their offense can just operate as a drop back 40 times, spray it all over the yard and still be successful. That is not Kyle Shanahan's offense. His offense is totally predicated on the ability to run on first down, show different looks out of that same run unit, and then work play action off it. And Debo Samuel's jet sweep action off Christian McCaffrey's guard tackle duo pull counter the other way, like that is their offense. And if you take that Debo jet sweep away, man, I hate to say like San Francisco's offense is kind of a house of cards when you have that much talent, but it kind of is. And 
I just think the Lions can keep up with them offensively. Like the Lions are one of those teams that can pass independent of the run and they can run independent of the pass. So if you take one away, they can morph into another team, right? They can be a power running team with the two headed running backs or golf has proven if you keep him clean, which Detroit's proven they have the best offensive line in the NFL this year based on his sack rate numbers, pressure rate numbers, and his inability to make guys miss. So, you know, he's not making rushers miss. He's either getting sacked or it's clean pocket and he's seeing a clean pocket. So man, I actually lean Detroit here. I, I, I don't want to, I just have a tough time pulling the trigger here, but I will say one of my best bets in this game for sure is Aiden Hutchinson over set, uh, 0.75. That dude, we've been talking about it. He was on my pre uh, our preseason show. I talked about how I think he's like one of the next great pass rushers. Remember I said like he's going to be one of those guys that has 20 sacks in his career in a season. And San Francisco's right tackle stinks. And I'm not saying like it's adequate. I'm talking the dude stinks. And Aiden Hutchinson is going to make that guy miss six or seven times. Yes, Brock Purdy occasionally can make guys miss, but we've already seen it with Hassan Reddick, how sometimes Kyle Shanahan can get in it stuck in his ways and will block a good pass rusher with a tight end just because his scheme and the play needs it to happen that way. And so I just think Aiden Hutchinson at one point in this game is absolutely going to destroy Brock Purdy. 